we are on the Cupboard Islands. We had a very hard crossing. Uh, it was uh, on the limit. It was adventure, the real adventure. We had 30 knots of wind, big thunderstorm, huge wave. We were very happy that we arrived here safe and the boat uh, still is in one piece. It was really hardcore. One wave took us from the side, everything falling down and being on the floor, the clothes, the kitchen stuff. Big mess. Incredibly. Incredible. The last hours we were just waiting to arrive. We counted down every mile and every minute and every hour. It was just endless. But we are here. And happy. And we'll stay here. <laughs> Never move again. Yesterday we met David and um, he is doing a day charter here with his boat and today he is low on crew so he asked us if we give him a hand. Of course we said yes and we are looking forward to uh, join him on today's trip and uh, help him a bit handling the boat and uh, with the guests. It's my first experience on a monohull and shaking We are in Santa Maria on Sal. There is a lot going on here on this island. It's um, very touristy now. Ten years ago there was nothing here, but now it's growing up. Very growing. They uh, just building a new road here. This is the main road here, but now it's a fucked up road. <laughs> they are working very fast and in. Uh, a couple of months when the high season starts, they will be finished, I'm quite sure. And it will be kite season again. Oh yeah. There is a lot of wind here in winter time. What do you mean with a lot of wind? 25 knots. 25 knots of all course. the time. It's the spot to be. Very good place to kite surf. Uh, the wind is every time side shore. It's perfect to learn kite surfing and it's not a lot of waves to going out at the sea. It's a bit a touristy place, but uh, there are very nice restaurants here. You can either go to the very fancy touristy restaurants, which are very expensive. But there are also very nice local places where you can have dinner for three euros. Yeah, you can have fish or chicken or atun with a lot of rice and vegetables and potatoes for three euros. And the chicken is so delicious. And it's from the barbecue. Oh yeah. Two euros. In Sal, Santa Maria. Or you can go to a place, it's called Camps. You get for six euros a nice food and a drink. Uh, and the dessert. They have a lot of cakes and creams. Daniel, every time I have to eat two dessert. <laughs> <laughs> We decided that we really want to learn how to kitesurf. 
We bought some equipment that we can go to the beach and practice whenever we want. We are going to see Mitu. He is uh, one of the best kite surfers in the world. Mitu Montero won the World Championship one time and uh, some local races here around three, four times. He is a legend here on the island and uh, he made a lot for this sport here. He has now his own shops and um, he's a very nice guy going to buy a kite from him. Shop, uh, Mitu's kite shop, just buying a new kite for Brazil. <laughs> cool man, just have fun. Right here. Right here, just do like this. You know, like when you start, it's complicated because always you need a twist. But then slowly. Mitu showed us how we have to store the lines on the bar for not having a mess. With this technique, it gets possible to launch the kite from a boat. Okay. Yeah. I never do the eight, I do like that. Because some people do like eight, you cross. Oh, yeah, 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 we learned it like... Uh, yeah, but yeah. when you cross, you're going to have a lot of notes. You, you take time. One kite outside is Mitu Montero with the foil and he goes tomorrow to Brazil he told us and now he's still kiting with an 8 square meter bandit and his new foil. Incredible. Then he'll make some drone shots. What comes next? Some fishermen just managed to ground their fishing boat on the stones. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel. See you soon.